वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट विद एन सी आर टी क्लास ट्वेल्व इकोनॉमिक्स दिट इज पार्ट ए चैप्टर सिक्स बजट एंड द इकोनॉमी सो लेट स्टार्ट मीनिंग ऑफ बजट बजट इज अ डॉक्यूमेंट विच कॉन्टेंट्स एस्टिमेट ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट रेवेन्यू एंड एक्सपेंडिचर फॉर द कमिंग ईयर अकॉर्डिंग टू द इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन बजट मीन्स द एनुअल फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट कॉन्टेनिंग एन एस्टिमेट ऑफ ऑल एंटिसिपेटेड रेवेन्यू एंड एक्सपेंडिचर ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट फॉर द कमिंग फाइनेंशियल ईयर नेक्स्ट फीचर्स ऑफ अ बजट गवर्नमेंट बजट इज अ स्टेटमेंट दैट सोस एस्टिमेटेड रिसिप्ट एंड एस्टिमेटेड एक्सपेंडिचर ड्यूरिंग अ फिजिकल ईयर बजट सोस एस्टिमेट्स ऑफ गवर्नमेंट रिसिप्ट एंड एक्सपेंडिचर ड्यूरिंग अ फिक्स पीरियड ऑफ वन ईयर Budget requires the approval by the parliament. Next, objectives of government budget. So, the main objectives of government budgets are allocation of resources, redistribution of income and wealth, economic stability, and management of public enterprises. So, the first is allocation of resources. Private enterprises always desire to allocate resources to those area of production where profits are high. However, it is possible that such areas of productions may not promote social welfare. Should this budgetary policy, the government of a country directs the allocation of resources in a manner such that there is a balance between the goal of profit maximization and social welfare. Production of goods which are injurious to health is discourages through heavy taxation. On the other hand, production of socially useful goods is encouraged through subsidies. So finally, government has to reallocate resources in accordance to social and economic consideration in case the market fails to do or does so inefficiently. Point number 2 is redistribution of income and wealth. Budget of a government shows its comprehensive exercise on the taxation and subsidies. A government uses fiscal instrument of taxation and subsidies with a view of improving the distribution of income and wealth in the economy. A government reduces the inequality in the distribution of income and wealth by imposing taxes on the rich and giving subsidies to the poor or spending more on welfare of the poor. It reduces income of the rich and raises the living standard of the poor thus leads to equitable distribution of income expenditure on special anti poverty and employment scheme will be increased to bring more people above poverty line public distribution system should be inferred so that only the poor could get food grains and other essential items at subsidized prices point number 3 economic stability The government budget is used to prevent economic fluctuation. Economic fluctuations refers to the situation of inflation or deflation. The government of a country is always committed to save the economy from periods of inflation or deflation. Point number 4, management of public enterprises. The budgetary policy shows the interest of the government to increase the rate of growth through public enterprises. Government undertakes commercial activities that are of the nature of natural monopolies and requires heavy manufacturings. Private sector in these areas may cause lesser production and higher price of maximized profit and thereby reducing social welfare. Next, components of the government budget. So the budget has two broad components and they are revenue budget and capital budget. Revenue budget include revenue received and revenue expenditure of the government and capital budget include capital receipts and capital expenditure of the government so the first is revenue received so these are the received that neither create any liabilities nor reduction in assets of the government and under revenue received there are tax revenue and non tax revenue tax revenue refers to receipt from all kinds of taxes such as income tax corporate tax excise duty etc a tax is a legally compulsory payment imposed by the government on income and profit of persons and companies without reference to any benefit and non tax revenue refers to government revenue from all sources other than taxes these are income which the government gets by the way of sale of goods and service rendered by different government departments 
So there are two type of taxes and they are direct taxes and indirect taxes. When the ability to pay a tax and the burden of that tax falls on the same person, it is termed as direct tax. And when liability to pay a tax is on one person and the burden of that tax on the other person, it is termed as indirect tax. Some of the sources of non-tax revenue are, so the first is interest. Government receive interest on loans given by it to the state government, union territories, private enterprises and general public. Number two, profits and dividends. Government earn profit through public sector undertakings. Number three, Fees and fines. Fees refer to charges imposed by the government for service provided by it. Such services are generally in public interest. Similarly, government also gets income by way of fines. Number four, special assessment. Sometimes government undertakes developmental activities by which the value of nearby property appreciated, which leads to increase in wealth. So it is the payment made by the owner of those properties whose value has appreciated. Number five, gifts and grants. Point number five, gifts and grants. Government receive financial help in the form of grants, gifts from foreign government and international organization. Such grants and gifts are received during national crises such as earthquakes, flood, wars. etc number 6 escheats it refers to claim of the government on the property of a person who dies without leaving behind any legal heir or a will so next is revenue expenditure an expenditure that neither creates any assets nor causes reduction of liabilities is called revenue expenditure and on another side it is capital budget so capital budget contains capital received and capital expenditure So the first is capital received. Government received that either creates liability or reduces assets are called capital received. Capital received include items which are non-repetitive and non-routine in nature. So the next is capital expenditure. This expenditure of the government either creates fiscal or financial assets or reduction of its liability. Acquisitions of assets like land, machinery, equipment, etc., are its example. Next, developmental expenditure and non-developmental expenditure. Developmental expenditure is the expenditure on activities which are directly related to economic and social development of the country. This include expenditure on education, health, agriculture, road, transport, etc., and Non-developmental expenditure of the government is the expenditure on the essential general service of the government. This include expenditure on defense, payment of old age pension, etc. Next, plan expenditure and non-plan expenditure. Plan expenditure refers to that expenditure which is incurred by the government to fulfill its planned development programs. This include both consumption and investment expenditure by the government or planning commission of a country expenditure on agriculture industry public utilities health and education etc are example of plan expenditure non plan expenditure refers to all such government expenditure which are beyond the scope of its planned development programs for instance No government can escape from its basic function of protecting their lives and properties of the people. For this, government has to spend on police, judiciary, military, etc. So students, the remaining topics we will continue in the next video. Thank you.